Hello, Violet community, and welcome to Mike's Vinyl Experience. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I'm so excited. Today, I finally got to the point where I can actually get through and do my room tour. We're not completely done yet, but that's okay. There's a lot of things that I'm working on, but I've got it to a point to where at least we can take a tour through it, show you what we got going on. Uh, I'm excited for that. I'm lacking record storage, but I'm working on that. Uh, but I've got uh, at least it put together to the point where I can at least show you what I've got going on. As indicated, I've got to buy some new uh, additional record, vinyl record storage, but I'm working on that. Uh, got some other things that I've got to get hung, some music posters and stuff like that. But you know what's coming along, and we'll do an update as time goes on. But thank you so much for being patient. Uh, but anyway, I've got my record room tour uh, ready to go, and we're going to get started on that. Also, just FYI, and as always, Please leave your comments in the comment section below. It helps me out so very much. I appreciate you doing that. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your comments. Uh, thank you so much. I, and thank you for correcting me on a few things. I've made some mistakes. Nobody's perfect. I certainly am not. But thank you so much for, for assisting me with that. Um, uh, always, if you're interested and like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. We've got a lot of neat things coming up. As indicated before, we've got... Alice Cooper, welcome to my nightmare, a review of that uh, album coming up, uh, part of the Analog Productions, Atlantic 75, Otis Redding, Dock of the Bay, and then there's three new uh, uh, releases from that Atlantic 75 and Analog Productions that are coming out in just a few days, uh, right around the 1st of, of February. So I've got those three coming, we'll talk about those, and there's also a new release, uh, a new Bob Dylan release from Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs, We'll be taking a look at that as well. So we've got a lot of stuff uh, coming down the pike, and so I'm excited to share that information with you. So please go ahead, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, but more importantly to me, as always, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get started on the room tour. You'll be seeing three rooms today. My audio room, which is right directly behind me, and the record wall room, uh, which many of you have already seen with some of the videos that, that I've already done. And then I'll be showing my family room where we've got some movie posters and whatnot. So we'll be taking a look at three rooms uh, today and we'll keep updating this as things change. But I'm so excited to show that to you today. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for being here. We're in the family room, first room on our tour today. Uh, we have a movie poster of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which is uh, authentically signed by Harrison Ford and Sean Connery. Really cool, love the Indiana Jones series. And then moving along right to this next wall, we've got a Daniel Craig signed movie poster of for the movies Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace. Love the James Bond series, as you can see the uh, signature there on Daniel Craig. This is my wife's favorite one. I don't know exactly why, but um, that's her favorite movie poster that we have. Sony TV here for watching TV. Moving down here, we have an audio system, a Sony receiver with two Bowers and Wilkins HTM uh, speakers. They're quite old. They've been around for quite some time, but boy, they sound really good uh, considering their age. And then a, a Bowers and Wilkins HTM center channel. Uh, then we have, I believe that's a Infinity subwoofer. Moving up, we have a Spider-Man movie poster. No signatures here, just a basic movie collage, I guess, if you will. Okay, then moving back over towards here, we've got a little kitchenette. And then over here on this wall, you can see the stairway there. Uh, we've got the Wizard of Oz collage movie poster uh, and then down here we've got Heath Ledger uh, of course that's the Joker movie uh, collage type thing well I guess not a collage just a picture of Heath Ledger as the Joker and then a Pirates of the Caribbean collage uh, none of these are authentically signed they are just kind of collages and so forth Okay, moving from the family room into the record room, uh, wall record display room. You've seen this several times on my videos. 
this room, but maybe not uh, a wide angle like it is now. Uh, you can see we're in a basement. Obviously, we got a window there. Um, this used to be our game room uh, where we had an air hockey table, a foosball table, and so forth. Uh, we've kind of gotten rid of that. We're going to be putting some furniture down here. As indicated, we're kind of under uh, making some changes, and I'll keep this video updated as those changes are made. But let's go ahead and start in here. Uh, another movie poster here on this wall. This one is the Twilight series. Uh, as you can see, this is back in 2008, 2009. We got this when uh, the movie was popular. We bought this really for our daughters. Uh, they were really huge into these movies back then. And this one is authentically signed by the three uh, stars of the movie. I'm not sure who they are. I really didn't get into the movie. And then here I've got some uh, signed record albums. Lynn Stanley down here. I love Lynn Stanley. Her voice is just remarkable. This is uh, just fun, fun stuff. Good albums. Really nice recorded. Very, very, uh, very, very good sounding. And then just below it, we've got an old RCA uh, Victor stereo, tube stereo, still works. Actually sounds kind of nice on FM radio and so forth. And then up here on the wall, uh, we've got uh, Ann Beeson and Bison. I'm not sure how she spells that or pronounces that. Uh, Blue Mind uh, uh, edition or album. Uh, this one is actually signed uh, while I was there. I believe this was at a consumer electronics show several years ago when the album was released. And then above that, uh, a Diana Krall, uh, Glad Rag Doll album, which is signed by Diana Krall. Uh, picked that up at a concert, and I think uh, I mentioned this in a video uh, earlier that I had done on this concert. It was in Park City, Utah, where I picked this up. Um, we were sitting 20 feet or so away from her husband, uh, Elvis Costello, which was really, really cool. Then over here, um, this is my Beatles wall. Let me kind of step back and whatnot so you can get a better view of this. Um, I've got the Beatles albums, uh, of course, starting with uh, the first album there, uh, all the way down to Let It Be. This was in a series that I believe came out, oh gosh, I can't remember if it was the 80s, 90s, or early 2000s. Uh, they're nothing special. I think they were on the Capitol uh, label. I'm not sure that, about that real quick, but but they were just a series that they came out there, limited edition, whatever you call it, they've got on the album. I bought it basically just to just to display. Uh, so on that wall, we've got, you know, uh, all the Beatles albums that they're released in chronological order, I believe. Um, and then this movie, not movie, excuse me, music, uh, collage display uh, was when they were on the Ed Sullivan show. Uh, the signatures that you see on the guitar are not authentic. I repeat, they are not authentic. I wish they were. They're what they call laser engraved. Uh, but I we bought it years and years ago because we thought it looked cool and kind of glad we did. It's kind of a neat addition to the room. Um, and then down here we've got some other albums. Uh, of course, Santana, great album by uh, Santana. Hotel California, that's an original pressing. Uh, Days of Future Past, The Moody Blues. Kansas Left Overture, that's a half speed master. I, that album, Kansas Left Overture, is great. That is just a great album, I love that. Uh, Doobie Brothers, Best of the Doobie Brothers, that's a, one of the DCC Steve Hoffman uh, albums. I got a few DCC uh, albums. I thought about maybe doing a video sometime about those. I, I haven't got a lot, but I've got, I don't know, maybe seven to 10. Uh, and then a Half Speed Master of uh, Total Four, Total Four, one of the other, just a, just a phenomenal uh, uh, album, U2 War. Then moving up here, just beyond the last uh, Beatles Let It Be album, uh, we've got the Butcher cover of the Beatles Yesterday and Today. I believe that's the third state album and then of course let it be naked by the beatles is i think that's a very very well recorded album sounds really good um then up here we've got some led zeppelin i've got two or three more led zeppelin albums i've got to get up just haven't had a moment to do it 
Then we got Kiss. Of course, Michael Jackson, Journey, uh, Jimi Hendrix, and uh, Chicago album. I think they were just picked just because I think I like their album covers. Then going up top above the window, we've got uh, a Mobile Fidelity version of some Grateful Dead albums. Love the Grateful Dead. They were just phenomenal. Uh, good music. Love them. Then over here, we've got a few jazz albums. Uh, mostly these are Blue Note. Looks like classic series, craft recordings, uh, moving on down. Uh, here, that June Christie album's a great, great album. Uh, and then uh, just more uh, Bill Evans at Town Hall and uh, craft recordings, chat. Uh, over here, um, let me back back out so I can see, you can see what's going on here. We've got a couple of movie posters. The first one here, Top Gun. Uh, this isn't actually, uh, this is a, an authentically signed album, uh, or excuse me, movie poster, movie collage of Top Gun. It is signed by Val Kilmer and Tom Cruise. I wished it would have had the Kelly McGillis signature, but it just had there too, which is, which is cool anyway. And then of course, Iron Man, uh, no signatures there, just a movie collage. And then this here is the entrance to my now audio room. As you can tell, it used to be our home theater room. Uh, hence the cinema sign up on top there. Uh, and then over here, just before we get into that, uh, we've got a Star Wars collage type uh, movie poster. And then this, uh, this picture of the RCA Victor, his master's voice. I've had that picture for an awful long time. I've had that, it's been in my family since I was younger and I don't, I don't even know where it came from. I, I, it's nothing special or anything. It's just kind of a cool picture, I think. And then just some movie stuff and a, an old TV that does not work. But anyway, kind of a decoration, I guess, if you will. Okay, moving into my audio room. As indicated, this was a theater room. Uh, at one point, we've uh, I've kind of converted this into my two-channel audio because we really don't use it as a theater room anymore. Uh, the screen you see on the back wall, we're going to replace that, get rid of that with the, I'll put like a 65 or 75 inch monitor or something like that up there. I do have acoustic sound panels. I've got the room designed for that uh, in one, with one of the companies and I'm just waiting to get rid of that screen and then decide what kind of TV, how big it is. And then I'll go ahead and get the uh, acoustic uh, panels, uh, absorption panels ordered. Uh, anyway, the room itself is not terribly bad at all. It's, as you can tell, maybe as we walk into it, there's not a lot of, uh, it's not terribly alive or there's really no echo. The walls, the three walls that you're seeing now are all concrete walls on the outside since this is a basement and they are all insulated as well as, as the ceiling is very heavily insulated as well. But the room's not terrible. I do have a mid-base uh, concern, and this is really one of the reasons I'm focusing my efforts there on the room acoustics uh, around the, I don't know, 70 to 80 hertz region of the mid-base. So I'm gonna be working with that. Okay, before we get into the audio equipment, let me just kind of turn. Here's some CDs and SACDs. Uh, that I've got here on a bolts rack. Um, I kind of have, you can see at the top, not the very top, some box sets there. And I've got some more box sets that I've got to get out of the boxes and put up there. But uh, I, Mobile Fidelity, you can see I've got a collection of their CDs, SACDs, gold CDs, what have you. Audio Fidelity, there's some things there. I've got SACDs, um, CDs, jazz, rock, pop, folk. Uh, classical down below. Um, I got a few of those. I still purchase SACDs and CDs, uh, not nearly like I do records, but I do have a few that I purchase. And then as indicated in the intro, oh, there's a pair of, this with the surround speakers for the home theater, the Bowers and Wilkins, I believe there's, I believe they're, uh, uh, 705, 702, 705, anyway, CM, CM fives. I can't remember which model they are. Great sounding little speakers. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. 
keep them, get rid of them. I don't know, but I, I got to figure that out. And then as indicated, here is one portion of my vinyl uh, collection. This is, there's some box sets on top. See some of the analog production, production box sets and some others. Uh, and this is mostly my jazz collection. Uh, and all of these that you're going to see today that I have displayed in this rack and one other that I'll get to here in just a second. Uh, the vast majority of these are all audiophile represses, uh, you know, including uh, Tone Poet, uh, craft recordings, uh, all that kind of thing. There's just a ton. I wish I had a free hand that I could pull a few albums. Uh, below, I've got uh, all three quarters of my vinyl Mobile Fidelity collection uh, here. And then you can see the Rolling Stones box set down there. I'm not sure why I got that down there. Anyway, uh, so that's one. And then moving over here behind this door, I've got Pop Rock. And then, on the, well, the very top, you can see the Mobile Fidelity One Steps. And then this is mostly Pop Rock Folk uh, albums down here, uh, classical. Now in this rack, I do have a few of my original pressings. Uh, here as well of the rock pop. I've still got, I don't know, six or seven totes of albums that I have yet to get out yet because I don't have anywhere to put them yet. These racks that I've got, let me see if I can back up and get a better view of this for you. Uh, these racks are bolts, record racks, the four shelf. I really need two more of these. Um, and then I kind of want to get, well, I need to get one that I would like to be a little bit shorter, like maybe a three rack, and then I wanna put my record cleaning stuff uh, on that. Uh, the record you see below here on this little audio stand are records that I have uh, yet to clean and uh, go through uh, and then get put back into my, and put back into the collection. But uh, there's a VPI 16.5 record cleaner. Uh, it does a really nice job. Um, down here are some of the cleaning solutions and record brushes that I'm using along with stylus uh, cleaner and then of course um, record sleeves both outer and inner record sleeves are there um, okay let's go ahead and take a look at the equipment um, about a year ago I replaced my Denon DP 1200 uh, turntable it had a Benz micro gold cartridge on it with this VPI Prime 21. The cartridge is a HANA ML moving coil cartridge. And I couldn't believe the difference in sound that this table has made. Uh, so that's kind of got me thinking, okay, it's time to upgrade some other stuff. Anyway, moving over here, oh, by the way, Otis Writing Dock of the Bay, we're gonna be doing a review on that relatively quickly. I've got to get that uploaded. What you're listening to in the background is Patricia, Patricia Barber uh, Versailles uh, on original master recording SACD. My SACD player, as you can see, is the Sony XA5400ES. It's probably the last CD player that I will buy. I think it sounds really, really good, in particular on Redbook CD, CDs and, of course, on SACDs. Uh, my digital uh, server, if you will, uh, is the Sony HAP-Z1ES. Uh, it's a nice little unit uh, for what it does. I don't purchase a lot of high resolution audio files, but I do on occasion. And then my preamplifier is a Class A CP50 with phono preamp in it. And it does, it's been a good performer. It's a solid, solid machine. Uh, sounds really quite nice, but I think the preamp is probably the first thing that I'm going to upgrade. I've been looking at a Class A uh, C2700 tube uh, preamp. I might bring that home and just see how that looks, sounds, excuse me. Um, going over here, this box here of albums is mostly new albums and albums that I just haven't had a chance to open yet and play. As you can see, Taylor Swift Red. I know you guys are getting excited for that review that's coming up. My daughters are really anxious to be involved with the review of Taylor Swift's uh, Red Album. Uh, anyway, so that's uh, 
one that I'm sure you're all excited for. And then my speakers are Bowers & Wilkins uh, Matrix 803 Series 2. Uh, they're in excellent condition. They actually sound really, really nice. Uh, in this room in particular, they have a very nice bottom end. Mid-range is very, very nice. I really, really do enjoy these speakers, but as indicated, I've got the upgrade bug and I'm kind of thinking what I might replace them with. But And then, of course, the Class A CA uh, 150 uh, power amplifier uh, provides plenty of power for these speakers. Of course, it's uh, rated at 150 watts, doubles its power as the impedance drops down into four ohms. It puts out 300 watts per channel. And I've never, ever had a problem with not having enough power to drive these speakers. Uh, speaker cables are Kimber cable. Uh, I believe it's the TC-8. Uh, uh, the new, the, they're older cables. Uh, the newer ones, I think, are white and gold. And then uh, all of the inner connects, including the long one from the preamp to the power amp, um, they're all AudioQuest. I believe they're all the Diamondback uh, series, uh, all balanced. Of course, the only balanced one I don't have, the only one that's not balanced is the Phono cable, which is a Terra Labs, and I forget the model number on that. Uh, but all of those are balanced cables, uh, so forth. Um, the audio rack that I've got my system on here is a Soundations audio rack. It's a heavy son of a gun with spikes on the bottom that go through the carpet to the concrete floor. So when I walk around, of course, when I'm on a concrete floor, it doesn't make any difference. I don't have any vibrations or anything to the turntable at all. Um, anyway, that's kind of where we're at with that. As indicated, gosh, I got the upgrade bug. I want to take a look at some new equipment. Uh, I think I'll start with the preamp, a power amp, and then maybe move to the speakers, but I'm not really sure if that'll have to come. But anyway, uh, as we do updates and things change, I'll do updates to the room tour. But anyway, thank you so much for uh, looking today. I appreciate all of you. Hope you all have a great day. Check back soon. Please leave comments in the comment section below, and we will see you very, very soon. Thank you.